Moore and Merida walk through a dense fog, one of the ghostly blue flames beckons them, vanishing as they near. They spot another wisp up ahead. It disappears as they arrive at a stone formation. Mom, look! Two standing stones prop up a flat rock, forming a gateway that bears the seal of two crossed axes. Merida gazes at the crest. Why did the wisps bring us here? Oh. Merida leads the way up a rocky slope. She crosses a threshold made of stones, then heads up a set of steps, glancing back at her mother. Our view turns away from the princess, and we find the ruins of an ancient castle on the top of the mountain. An aerial view reveals the round, crumbling dwelling jutting out onto a lake. Hiking up the rocky incline, Merida nears the abandoned structure. Everything where they've been gone for a long, long time. The floor collapses beneath her and she tumbles into a room. Fine, <gasps> Mom! Just fine. The princess rises to her feet and wipes herself off. She glances around. Dim daylight floods in from the hole in the ceiling. It's a throne room. You suppose this could have been the kingdom in that story you were telling me? The one with the princes? She finds a broken stone carving of four princes. One, two, three, four. The oldest. Eleanor peers through the hole. Split like the tapestry. In a flash, the tapestry gets slashed and the stone carving cut with an axe. Merida backs away. The spell. It's happened before. She finds a pile of skeletal remains. Strength of ten men. Fate be changed. She looks up at Eleanor peeking inside. Changed his fate. Oh no. The prince became. She turns to find a ferocious bear towering over her. <laughs> Elder growls and Mordu roars. Merida shoots an arrow, striking the scarred bear's chest. Mordu chases her across the throne room. She shoots another arrow, which bounces off and tumbles to the floor. Mordu pounces, but she rolls out of the way and scrambles up the rubble pile. Merida reaches for her mother's paw as Mordu claws at her. In slow motion, she makes a daring leap as Mordu swipes at her heels. Merida grabs her mother's paw, and Eleanor pulls her up to safety. As Eleanor steps around a stone wall, Merida glances back at the hole. Mordu breaks through. Eleanor pushes the wall over, sending an avalanche of stones at Mordu. She gallops off with Merida on her back. They run through the stone gateway. As she rides through the fog, Merida looks back over her shoulder. They pass standing stones, then find another blocking their path. They slide to a stop at its base. Its upper portion rocks unsteadily as the clears a touch. They find themselves back at the circle of standing stones. Merida faces Eleanor. Mom, we need to get back to the castle. If we don't hurry, you'll become like Mordu, a bear, a real bear, forever. Mend the bond torn by pride. The witch gave us the answer. The tapestry. 